What's up, YouTube? We're going to do a little discussion, sort of. So, for the remainder of the year, we're going to do some, like, countdown lists. Because, uh, I like lists. Do you guys like lists? Let me know if you don't like lists. Actually, if you don't like lists, I don't care. I'm going to do it anyway. But, um, we're going to do lists. So, this list is the top five worst yo-yos. <laughs> In my opinion, unresponsive yo-yos, in my opinion, and I know there's been worse yo-yos before, but these are my top five worst yo-yos. Now, disclaimer, this is all opinion. If you like any of these yo-yos, that's fine. It doesn't matter. This is only for me. Top five worst yo-yos. Let's get started. Number five, the Yo-Yo Factory DV888. That's right. I'm sorry, I'm gonna get hate for this. Um, I think the DV888 isn't, it's bad, it's a bad yo-yo. Uh, and I'll explain why. I'll explain why for all these, but this one, let me explain why. The picture's gonna shoot up on the screen. It's bad yo-yo for this reason. One, I realize it's outdated, but it's super outdated, and it still costs too much money. So, uh, the responsive version comes in at 30 bucks, and it's small, it's heavy, and it kind of plays like a rock, um, and it comes responsive, which means you're going to hurt yourself with it. You're going to smash your knuckles, you're going to hit yourself in the face, and it's like hitting yourself in the face with like a 67 gram piece of lead. It's just small and dense and responsive, and that's bad. Um, it's especially bad because it's targeted towards beginners, and I feel like that's extra bad for beginners. Um, I feel like you're pretty likely to hurt yourself with that yo-yo uh, as a beginner, and that's that's no good. You don't want to hurt yourself playing yo-yo right off the bat. That's you don't you just don't want to do that. Um, and the other problem that I have is cost. So it starts at 30 bucks for the responsive version, but if you want the upgrade kit, it's another 10. So you're already at 40 bucks to upgrade your meh yo-yo to an unresponsive yo-yo that plays okay. It plays. Meh. It plays outdated. Um, and this would all be fine if it was just an old yo-yo and it had been discontinued, but there was still a ton in stock. But they're still making new colors. A new color came out this year, and it cost five more dollars. So, for me, number five is the Yo-Yo Factory DV888. It's outdated. It needed to be revamped two years ago, but they just decided to pump out more colors and bump the price up an extra five bucks because it's a fun splash. And they still target it towards beginners, and it's it's a bad beginner yo-yo, in my opinion. So, number five, Yo-Yo Factory DV888. Worst yo One of the, my top five worst yo-yos. Period. Alright. Number four. Most of you may have already guessed this, and I promise this is the last Yo-Yo Factory on the list. Most Yo-Yo Factories are really good, and especially most Yo-Yo Factory plastics, except this one. The Yo-Yo Factory Daydream. Here it is. It's terrible. It's so bad. I've had two of them. Both of them were sort of responsive. Both of them had really low spin times. And they both pretty much sucked right out of the box. Like, we're a bag. It comes in a bag. Um, it's actually a better off-string yo-yo than it is a 1A yo-yo. It's just, it's bad. I, I've never played a good one. And I've played like a lot of yo-yos. You guys have seen. I've played a ton of yo-yos. You've seen a couple of daydreams. I've never played a good one. They've all sucked. They have wonky bearing seats. The gap is too small. They're sort of semi-responsive. At least the ones I've played have been sort of semi-responsive. And the shape is terrible. It's just it's it's bad. Um, they're tw about twenty bucks. And honestly, everything cheaper than it is better than it except for like you know some of that was like really junky things but literally every yo-yo that you can get that's cheaper replay pro um it's all the magic yo-yo stuff all that's better the daydream is just a, it's a it's a bad yo-yo and i think yo-yo factory is starting to phase it out i feel like i see it for like 10 bucks getting blown out so they're probably getting rid of it they probably noticed noticed that it's a terrible yo-yo but uh, hate daydream. In fact, I, I hate the daydream so much. I beat it up and I tried to smash it, and I threw it at the house. Um, it's a video that I did a while back. It was Tom versus daydream. Go back and watch that. Um, one of my absolute 
worst yo-yo experience. It's one of the worst yo-yos I've ever played. But uh, yeah, it's terrible. Yo-Yo Factory Daydream is number four on my list of my worst yo-yos. So that's that. Moving on, uh, you guys are going to start to like... These ones, they just get worse and worse. So while I've heard that people like the BB-888, yeah, I'm drinking beer. I haven't drank beer on a, one of these in a while. Drink beer. It's dark, it's nighttime, it's beer time. It's always the right time. Anyway, so these are going to kind of get worse and worse and worse, and let's start to say worse and worse things about them. My number three worst yo-yo is the Magic Yo-Yo N11 Weight Ring. This was one of my first medals, and I was like, at first, I was like, oh, this is this is okay, but I don't I don't really know what the, it's kind of slippy, it's sort of hard to bind, and it's got that weird center cut that just doesn't, I don't know what it does, it's not very good, it just seems to be there, and it seems to create a bigger gap, and make it harder to bind the yo-yo, and it's just overall not very cool. Uh, picture of it. So here's my problems with it. One, the finish is terrible. It's a very shiny, sticky, like, almost spray-painted type finish. Not only does it have a terrible finish, it's got really ugly, stupid engravings on it. It's like a skull and like a yin and yang, and it just, it's, it doesn't make sense. It looks bad. Um, it's a very, sh like I said, the shiny, sticky finish is just... It, it's not good for anything. It doesn't feel good to hold. It doesn't feel good to grind. It doesn't. It doesn't grind. I've had sh shiny plastic yo-yos that grind better than the Magic Yo-Yo N11 weight ring. Uh, it doesn't have very good weight distribution, and I think they figured that out only after they manufactured like three million of them, and then they were like, "Oh, we better put silicone weight rings in there too to make the weight distribution better." So you can put silicone weight rings in there, and then it gets sort of like vibey and yucky. So, and it makes it like heavy, so then it kind of plays like a rock, because it's not that big of a yo-yo anyway. And it just really, there's really nothing good to say about it. It's just like sort of a yo-yo that you buy and you go, oh, I really, I wanted to like this because oh, this color is okay and it looked kind of pretty and shiny, but the shininess is terrible and it just, these weight rings are stupid, they suck, and this this shape just doesn't make sense and it's not it's not good it's a bad weight distribution and it just it, it's not good so plays like junk feels like junk is junk luckily it's only like 10 or 11 bucks so once you make that mistake you won't make it again but the magic yo-yo n11 weight ring most of the magic yo-yo stuff in that price range is actually pretty good and a pretty good bang for the buck but that one just sucks probably the worst one probably the worst magic yo-yo i've ever touched in fact, by far, that's the worst Magic Yo-Yo I've ever touched. Easily. Easily, easily, easily. Moving on. My number two. Some of you may have been waiting for this one. Number two, worst Yo-Yo. For me. Number two, worst Yo-Yo. The Bibu, God of Death. Here's a picture. So, the Bibu, God of Death. I harp on this Yo-Yo all the time. I made a video saying how much I hated it, how much it sucked, and uh, my opinion on it hasn't changed. It's still a god-awful yo-yo. It's a stupid design, very angular, uh, and there is a step right before the gap that is flat and sort of almost curves up, and the yo-yo string will get stuck on that step. It is flat enough or just catchy enough that you can get the, the string caught on that step and that'll just mess up whatever you're doing. Terrible, terrible design. The weight distribution is awful. The engraving is stupid. There's engravings all over this thing. And it's like, there's like a reaper, and then it just says, Bibu, smart you. It's, it's awful. The finish is the same shiny, terrible finish that nobody should ever use on a yo-yo, ever. It's like that spray paint, sticky, just yuck finish. And... The design is just, it's angular, and it's sharp, and it just, you think, oh, that's an interesting looking shape, that looks, that looks like it might be neat, and then it's stupid. It's really, really stupid. It looks like if a toddler tried to draw something boxy, and then somebody's like, oh, we can make a that, and then just flipped it, and stuck it together, that's the Bibu God of Death. It's terrible. Oh, and the other problem with that is that it also shows up all the time on Amazon, even if you're not searching for it. 
So it like pops up like, oh, related items. And it's like, you know, you maybe just got a good yo-yo that was sort of in that $15 price range off of Amazon, like a Magic Yo-Yo N12 or something. And uh, that pops up and you're like, oh, well, that must be good too. Seems like it would be good. It's a suggested thing. And then you get it and it sucks. And you want to like it because you're like, well, maybe it's me, but it's not you. It's it's the Bibu God of Death. It's, it's more or less the God of Turds. It's like if a turd sort of became a yo-yo, and that's how it played, that's the Bibu God of Death. Terrible yo-yo. Avoid it at all costs. The number one worst yo-yo, and you guys are like, well, what could possibly be left? The Sidekick Pro. That's right. Think about that for a sec. Here's a picture. So you've all seen the Sidekick Pro. Some of you have been unlucky enough to actually purchase one. They're $30, and they are crammed into your eyeballs on Amazon if you ever buy any yo-yo anything. So, hey, you wanna buy a Sidekick Pro? Hey, you wanna buy a Sidekick Pro? Hey, you wanna buy a Sidekick Pro? You wanna buy a Sidekick Pro? How about a Sidekick Pro? You like a Sidekick Pro? How about a Sidekick Pro? And you don't want a Sidekick Pro. You just don't. They're terrible. They say they come with a center track bearing. They don't. They come with a responsive slim bearing. And it's not even a very good one. It's a pretty shitty one. And they come with a really long axle. And it's a terrible shape. With a terrible finish. It costs $30. It plays worse than everything that costs $30. Literally. It is the worst playing yo-yo of all of the yo-yos on this list. Every one of these yo-yos plays better than the Sidekick Pro. And I've just mentioned a bunch of terrible yo-yos. Every one of them is better than the Sidekick Pro. By like a mile. The shape is stupid. The weight distribution is stupid. There's no rim weight. There's a lot of center weight. It plays kind of like a rock, a responsive rock, that is also sharp and just a crap design. And honest to God, the worst part about it, actually the two worst things about it are, is that it costs $30. They make it look nice on Amazon because it comes in splashes and stuff. And they sponsor the product, even when you're not looking for it, you didn't, you didn't search anything like that, but because you search for a yo-yo, it's a sponsored product on Amazon, and it will show up in every suggested Amazon feed that you get, and it's awful. It's really, really awful. So you're going to pay $30 for the worst yo-yo in existence, and Amazon will have sponsored it and told you you would have liked it. That's why it's the worst yo-yo. It's terrible. It's really like, it plays bad, it spins bad, it is bad, it's bad yo -yo. Don't get it. Don't get any of these yo-yos. Tons and tons and tons of good yo-yos. I've reviewed a lot of them. Go back and check out those reviews. There's a little playlist down at the bottom there and on the main Throws and Brews page. Go through that playlist. Most of those yo-yos are really good. In fact, I think almost all of them that aren't these yo-yos are better than these yo-yos. Literally everyone. So, that's my top five, just to run it down. Number five, Yo-Yo Factory DV888. Number four, Yo-Yo Factory Daydream. Number three, Magic Yo-Yo N11 Weight Win. Number two, Bibu, God of Death. And number one, the worst yo-yo I have ever touched. And a yo-yo that I'm glad I never actually paid money for, the Sidekick Pro. Terrible yo-yos. Don't get them. So, when you're shopping for yo-yos this holiday season, make sure you avoid these like the plague. Get lots of, there's lots of other good yo-yos to get. Like I said, go ahead and watch my reviews. Check them all out. Uh, also, important to note, there's none of these terrible yo-yos on Yo-Yo Best Buy, of which I am an affiliate. So, just, just throwing that out. Free ends, guys. I do it for you. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe because there's going to be more lists coming. You know you want more lists. I want more lists. I like talking about it. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers to you. I'll see you next time.